chapter nine. Welcome, friends, and special guests to the Cutie Corn Academy, Mrs. Horn announced from the auditorium stage that evening. We're honored to host tonight's talent show to cap off a possum day of carnival fun. Twinkle barked and clapped in the very front row. row. You'll be seeing you and Cutie Corn from far and wide. Performing incredible feats. I got a sneak peek, and I think this is really something been to bark about. But without further ado, let's shake a tail and get this show started. Mrs. Horn raised her paws, and the heavy red curtain behind her was swept aside. <coughs> the... <coughs> Flashed in the center with a huge smile on her snout. Bow, wow, she was the first act. Twinkle waved and howled at the top of her lungs. Woo! The crowd cheered loudly as Flash went for a performance. She did light and fast flips, tumbles, and hoop jumping, and even some incredible bouncing on a rope. She stretched between two cones. Flash was full of energy and spunk. Twinkle could tell she was having a totally pup-tastic time. Suddenly, Flash paused and looked at the side of the stage. Three little hedgehogs stood out in front of her, grinning. Sparkle's eyes jaw dropped. Oh no, was Flash going to do what she thought Flash was going to do? From center stage, Flash winked at Twinkle. Then her purple horn began to glow. Three hedgehogs rose up into the air, giggling and clapping their paws. Then, using their shifting magic, Flash began to juggle the hedgehogs in midair. Hot dog! She was actually doing it! Twinkle couldn't believe her eyes, but she also couldn't believe the grin that stretched wildly across, across Flash's snout. The crowd cheered so wildly, Twinkle could barely hear herself sink. After a minute, Flash gently... They returned the hedgehogs to the ground, and the three little bundles of spikes bowed grandly. They seemed to love the spotlight just as much as Flash did. The four of them raced off the stage, followed by pup loads of applause, barking bulldogs. After that opening night, Twinkle knew this was definitely going to be a talent show to remember. One act after another took the stage that got each tail's lagging and paws clapping in the crowd. Glitter and Sparkle were both verbulous, just like Twinkle knew they could be. But the real surprise came from the Bizden Cutie Corn's performances. They never had seen Twinkle before. A group of birds did some amazing aerial stunts, swooping around the auditorium right above their heads. They even got some other animals to volunteer. They used their match to make them soar for the air. Twinkle never thought she would see the day when a goat went flying overhead. Max the little hedgehog in a black cape and a top hat took center stage, put on a barking good magic show. He did card tricks, pulled out a coin in thin air and even made a volunteer hedge disappear. He was so impossible that Twinkle couldn't tell if his tricks were illusions and which ones were actual cutie corn magic. Some goats n used their amazing balancing skills to create a towering pyramid climbing on one top of another. As they teetered, they used their magic to spin use and Twinkle couldn't help it. She covered her eyes with her paws, convinced they were going to tumble down. A blindfolded cat used her sharp senses and perfect magic to navigate a complicated obstacle course. Across the stage, a yellow glowing horn. She worked her way out, out to the audience, definitely prancing around the backs of the seats and leaving for the crowd without putting a 
whisk around the place. Now for finale, she used her sharp claws to climb up the curtain rope in no time flat. She whisked off her blindfold and waved down to the audience. Then a large hamster choir, including Nimble, sang the beautiful high-pitched song, complete with harmony. Twink wanted to think the hamsters as silly tricksters, but she was swept away by their squeak-tastic singing of all of these different candy corns were really full of surprises. Next, a little gray bunny took the stage. Stage. Her pink horn sparkled brightly in the stage lights. But Twinkle wasn't looking at her horn. She was looking at the whites of the bunny's eyes. The poor thing was terrifying. She stood perfectly still, frozen in place. Twinkle gasped. No bones about it, she knew this bunny. It was Fluff, the same one she helped during the welcome parade. She found another spot. Twinkle waved a friendly paw at Fluff. Slowly, the bunny, wide eyes, moved back to look at her. Twinkle gave her a big smile. Suddenly, Fluff seemed to snap out of fear. She recognized Twinkle and took a deep breath. <coughs> and then began tapping her paws against the wooden stage in a complicated rhythm, getting faster and faster. Twinkle couldn't believe her eyes or ears, but little Fluff was a terrific tap dancer. Twinkle watched in delight, smiling so hard that her snout hurt. She didn't need any magic to help Fluff this time. Just a friendly smile was enough to save the day.